Hey, it's Matt from McGee Farms, and I've been building these uh, IBC aquaphonics tanks over the last couple of months, and I've got two of them done. We're going to be building a few more, but uh, the day has finally come. I've got some lettuce. I've got some uh, tomatoes. I've started growing in here a little bit, and I've got a video that I started on these. I'm going to be doing a couple more, so uh, I should have a video, a step-by-step -step how we built these, but now comes the fun part. We're putting fish in there. Stay tuned. You'll see we're on our way to get some trout. All right, so I've got the coolers in the back of the truck. Made it up to the Hobby Hut, and uh, it's also known as Nemo Bait and Tackle up in Cary, Missouri. We're gonna go in, we're gonna get our trout, and we're gonna get some minnows. So very interesting place up in North East Missouri. One thing, this guy's been in here forever. You know, down uh, being around New Orleans a lot, we see these, but uh, you don't see too many of them up here in Missouri. The coolers all lined up. Got some water in them. Got a little minnow in there, but fortunately for that little guy, He's probably not going to make the trip once we put the trout in there. So, give it a minute. We're going to bring out, bring out some buckets of trout. We got something else in there. I think that was a minnow at one point. And then we get the trip home. All right. So I got home. I'm going to check them out and see. Uh, looks like everybody made it okay. Got a rainbow trout. I've got three coolers full. Step on up here, see how they all did on the trip. Also open these up, let them get a little oxygen. Those all look good. A little bigger than I thought they'd be. But that's fine. And we got a few in here as well. So the goal... Squatch wants to come up. The goal is building these tanks. We're gonna grow out freshwater shrimp, or freshwater prawns, technically. Uh, gonna grow uh, crawfish in there, and these trout. And uh, basically I've got a pump system. I'm uh, getting ready to build a solar generator to power all this. I've just got it hooked to extension cords now. But I've got a pump. The pump pumps uh, the water from down there up here. Goes through. These are for uh, swimming pools. These are filter balls. Looks like they're about to the point they're going to need to be cleaned. It filters them out. It goes through. I've got uh, clay pebble grow media. And then you put uh, vegetables. I've got a couple different types of vegetables we're going to have in here. And the fish breathe out nitrogen. Plus, you've got fish poop. It comes up here. This actually catches the fish poop. And uh, you eventually get it out with the plants. But the nitrogen, the plants will soak up the nitrogen. And then they put oxygen back in. Goes over to a bell siphon that I've built. And then that brings it back in and oxygenates the water so they have something to breathe. Now, if we go over to my other one, <coughs> very similar setup, but I am trying something just a little bit different in here. That is, besides the clay pebbles, I've got lava rock in here too. And we're going to see how that works, if maybe uh, one makes it growing a little better than the other. And other than that, it's time to uh, start putting fish in here. Okay, I... Rhett, Rhett, hold it gently, please. Uh, here. I got some help with me getting the uh, getting the trout. What you got there, Red? Oh, you got two in there. That's what it is. I got two. Here. You got some fish? Yeah. Hold, hold on to it. Are they saying See hi? Daddy has it. Hold it gentle. It? Yeah. Good job. Here, show Paul. That's a rainbow. Look at these 
All right, let's go put them in the tanks, okay? okay? Put them in there. Put them in there. Put them in your net, and let's get down. I let's go put them in the tank, okay? Oh, they're slipping. Oh. Be careful. Good job, buddy. All right. See, uh oh. Shot. Let's see if we hold them under. Oh, this one's upside down, too. Oh. oh. I can get it with my sweatshirt. Okay, I'll, I'll get him. Oh, he's going, he's going. Maybe it just takes a second. Yeah. Oh. All right, it's been four days since we got the trout and the fish in here. And I'm getting out uh, today, going to get a chance to kind of get this garden shaped up. It got away from me in the month I was gone. But uh, we've had some pretty good luck in here. I don't know with this camera how well you can see, but the trout, uh, they're doing pretty good in there. When we first put them in, I think it was the uh, temperature change of the water. Uh, they were kind of floating for a little bit. And what I ended up doing was grabbing them and putting them directly under here, which is where the, uh, the oxygenated water is coming back out in. And uh, holding them under there for about 10, 20 seconds seemed to work because uh, they all came out. We had one fish that we lost got them actually sitting over here in the garden I'm gonna while I'm planting the garden I'm gonna use uh, probably use him and plant him with uh, something for uh, some good fertilizer and uh, we lost him because he jumped out other than that uh, I think we lost one minnow in here that we found floating that was it they've all done pretty good we walk around I finally uh, they will get out here with the mower and get this jungle of grass down. I still got a weed eat. But uh, this tank over here, same. I don't know how well you can see in there, but uh, they're all swimming, doing really good. The next thing I got to do, I got to adjust this a little bit. The uh, getting just a little too much water. I mean, right now I have. Uh, I have lettuce in here, and I'm going to basically put more uh, more plants that kind of grow better with uh, with a lot of water, lettuce, cantaloupe, watermelon, but uh, I've got to get more media in here and possibly uh, move this pipe down a little bit. Also notice we've got the bugs coming out, and they're getting on the lettuce pretty heavy. I saw we had a couple of them eating uh, what's over there, a few holes, so... Uh, gonna get a little spray, some neem oil or something on there as well. But uh, so far, so good with the with the trout, and uh, we'll keep you updated with the garden and with the trout as they grow. Hopefully, here uh, very shortly, we're gonna see uh, lots of strawberries. We've already actually gotten a couple off of here. Uh, potatoes, everything else going good, but. Uh, the trout, that's our uh, main thing we're kind of watching now. I think we've got uh, some shrimp and some crawfish coming in within the next week or two. I just got them ordered, and I'm going to build a couple more tanks as well. Matt with McGee Farms. If you enjoy the videos, please consider subscribing to the channel, giving us thumbs up, showing us you like the video, and we'll try to do more of those videos. Share it with your friends. It's all uh, appreciated, and it helps the channel grow. Until next time, have a great day.